So in Collect Earth, when you click on a plot like this, there are multiple windows that open, and one of them is the Google Earth Engine Explorer. You see here the the plot. And in Explorer, you can you can add the multiple um, data sets as layers, but this can be a cumbersome process because you have to go one by one adding adding layers. So instead of that, what you can do is to save your workspace and uh, restore the workspace with all the layers that you have previously previously used. So for instance, in my workspace, I already have a few layers. To access them, I have to first sign in. Okay. Put your username and your password. And now what you see is the Google Earth Engine Explorer user interface has changed. Now you see the whole, the whole world instead of the plot that we were seeing before. And there is a new button here that says Manage Workspace. If I go to Manage Workspace, you can click on Restore Save Workspace. I have previously saved my workspace, so I can restore it. And you see here now that on the left side I have many, many layers from Landsat 7, from um, like an 8-day composite or MODIS, or Landsat 5 from 95, then a whole series of Landsat 7 and Landsat 8 from 2000 to 2016. So now I don't have to go one by one adding all these all these uh, layers, like the annual greenest pixel and changing the changing the band combination and so on. I can just go to restore to restore workspace and I will have them. As you see, when you log in, you see a um, you see the map of the world. If you want to go back to see actually a plot from Collect Earth, then you have to go into Collect Earth and you need to click on a different plot. Okay, so I move to a different plot. I click on the plot. And now I finally see the, the plot with the, the boundary of the plot and the different uh, layers that I can, that I can visualize. So this is a much, much faster way of using the Google Earth Engine Explorer. So now I see 2006, if I remove this, I see 2016, I can see 95. And the way the layers work is that you use these eye icons to show or hide layers. Obviously, what you see on your screen is the top layer. So now I see 95. If I put 2000, 2004 here, then I can see if I remove the, if I disable the eye icon, I see 2000. If I disable it again, I see 2004. If I disable it again, I see 2016. Okay, so um, now I have restored the uh, workspace. Um, before you restore the workspace, you need to save the workspace. So I will here export or click on share workspace to get a URL. This URL is uh, giving you a copy of this workspace that you are seeing on the left. I will share this in the YouTube video. Okay. So in the comments of YouTube, you will have this, this address too. So you, what you will do is to cut and paste that, that uh, URL See when I when I when I go to this URL, it shows me the my workspace, and then what you have to do, since in your in your workspace you don't have these layers, you first will have to save the workspace. Save now. Okay. If I close Google Earth Engine and now I change plot in Collect Earth. This will provoke that there is a, a, the Google Earth Engine Explorer windows will open again. Here. So the Google Earth Engine Explorer opens again. Since there is no, uh, when, when, the Google, when the collector uh, browser windows open, they don't keep the session. So you have to sign in again. You will sign in. Okay. You will put username and password. Next.
and then you will have to do the same thing. You will go to Manage Workspace, Restore Save Workspace, OK. And see again, you have the layers here. Then again, you will need to change in order to visualize the plot properly. You need to change plot. So I go again to a different plot. I click on the plot. Now it shows me the plot perfectly well. And I can start using the layers. OK. So anyway, I will leave the um, I will leave the um, link on the on the comments of YouTube, um, and and then you can practice yourself. One important thing is that when you want to use that link, you first have to sign in. If you are not signing, if I if I do sign out here, and I try to use the BD, the URL, it does not work. Okay, so you before you you cut um or you copy and paste the url and go to the url you need to sign in sign in first okay you sign in oh. and then when you use the url then it works okay and then you can do again the save once you have saved the 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 um, the workspace it stays in the memory of Google Earth Engine, and then you don't you don't need to do this process. You just can go to restore save workspace. So if I go to restore save workspace, it shows me the the layers. Okay, so the process of cap copying and pasting the URL and going to this URL is only necessary the first time. After that, you can you can just sign in. See, after you sign in, you have your username here. And you go to manage workspace, restore save workspace. All right, so I hope this video was was clear enough. And again, I will leave the the well. This is just a, um, um, uh, an example of a of a workspace you can use. You may you may change the workspace. You may add other layers. You may remove layers if you don't want them. So, but this this could be a helpful a useful URL to start from.